YouTube family. My name is Alicia English and welcome back to my channel. Today is a really exciting video because I'm going to show you 10 ideas that you can make for Easter gift basket ideas that are going to cost you zero dollars and you won't even have to leave your home. I think you'll think that I have some excellent ideas for you to be able to fill your children's Easter baskets without spending any money at all. And just being able to find a few things that you have around the house or maybe on your property that you're gonna be able to create a really awesome Easter for your kids without spending any money or leaving your house. I always think about budgets when holidays come into play. And I just, even if you have a big budget or a small budget, you really wanna do things on a dime if you can. I also like to be able to reuse things. As you know, if you follow my channel, I love to upcycle, recycle, and repurpose things in many different ways. And I don't forget about the holidays when thinking about these projects. I also love being able to create custom items that I can give to my kids that you can't purchase in the store or anywhere else. And so during this video, I'm gonna show you 10 awesome ideas that you can create at home. Now that spring is just around the corner and Easter is only a month away, let's hop into it. Gift idea number one is a custom tic-tac-toe board. I had a few pieces of scrap wood around the house and I found some rocks on our property that I was able to create this cute little custom game. You could paint these in any color that you want and find any kinds of stones. You could also use bottle caps off of pop bottles or any other little round item that you can find. You can even use little tiny little small toys that match. I also know you can make this on cardboard. So if you don't have any scrap wood at home, don't worry. Find a cereal box or a piece of recycled cardboard and make your base. I created my wood shapes in a six inch by six inch size. I also going to put these in a little canvas bag. That way my boys won't lose the stones. Idea for gift number two is to use some felt or fabric that you have around the house. If you don't have felt or fabric, you can use pieces of cardboard or cardstock. Think of the old school paper dolls that you would have had maybe when you were a kid. What I've done is I used a piece of scrap dowel. You could use a chopstick or a recycled straw and do the same idea. And I created this cute little grass pull down out of a toilet paper roll. You can pull down and this cute little felt bunny will come out at the top. My boys are eight and 10 and they still love playing with little felt puppets or little tinker toys. So I thought this was a really cute thing to put in an Easter basket. Using hot glue, I glued the felt to the toilet paper roll and I used a little needle and thread that I had to be able to create the little bunny. If you don't want to use needle and thread, you could glue the whole thing together. I thought it would be also cute to make little ducks and even frogs maybe that pop out of the water. Gift idea number three is a spring or Easter match game. I created a match game in a little sack that I sewed on my sewing machine with this scrap little piece of fabric. And what I did was I used a Cheerios box to be able to cut my squares and some Easter stickers that we had laying around that were probably left from last year. If you don't have stickers, you can draw on your own shapes that would be representing spring or Easter. And so what I did was I just cut them into little two inch by two inch shapes. You can see there were Cheerio boxes on the back and I found some matching stickers and were able to make two of all of the shapes creating a match game. So the kids will be able to flip them over, line them up and play a game. Another idea for creating the tiles for your match game is to use the metal juice cap lids that come on the top of frozen juice cans or even pieces that are left over from old board games that you're missing some of the pieces for. Idea number four is perfect for any age kid because who doesn't love bubbles? Usually most families have some of the wands left over from old bubble sets that they've had, which we had quite a few laying around. I used an old container that used to have stuff in our bathroom to create my own bubble soap for the bubbles using Dawn dish soap and some warm water. Super easy. Idea number five is to monogram your child's name on either a pillowcase or a pencil case. Using cardstock and a little bit of paint, you can actually trace out and exacto knife out your child's name in any font you decide if you don't have a cut machine and then be able to apply it onto something. So I did a cute little pencil case with my son Dane's name on it and I did another one for my son Chase. You could also do this on pillowcases and just use a little tiny bit of paint sticking a piece of cardstock in between the pillowcase so it doesn't leak through. It actually stays in the wash and you'd be surprised how many different things you can find around your own house to monogram. 
Idea number six is an Easter egg pinata. I've made these in the past and my kids thought they were super fun. What I did was use some tissue paper in some yellow and green Easter colors and was able to use some white school glue to create this cute little egg pinata. In order to access the treats inside, all you have to do is rip the string, which releases the treats inside. Make sure that you use foil treats because you are using glue and tissue paper to be able to create this. So you don't want open treats that aren't foil wrapped. So what I did was I just found some Easter treats. I filled them inside. So when they crack them open, they'll have a delicious surprise. All I did was blew up a balloon in the shape of an Easter egg, tied my knot, and using tissue paper or newspaper, if you don't have tissue paper at home, you can do a more recycled option with the, t with the newspaper. You're just going to mod podge using a paintbrush, some white glue, and cover the whole thing, letting it to dry overnight. When morning comes, your piece will be all dry and all you can do is pop the balloon inside, which will release the balloon, dumping out any rubber that was left from the balloon. Seal up your top after you filled it with treats. Idea gift number seven is a recycled bottled bug house. My children love finding bugs outside and they like to bring them inside. And so they always look for containers to be able to bring them in to show me what creatures that they found. So what I did was I took an old juice jug and drilled a couple of air holes. Using a stick from outside, I just made a cute little branch. I put in some moss that we found in the backyard and a few pieces of shredded newspaper to be able to create some grass. It's winter here in Canada, we don't have any grass right now. And then I actually made a cute little cardstock fake bug to put in just for decoration and a little tag that just says bug house. So my children know exactly what it is. I think that they'll really like having this and they'll be filling it with creatures as soon as spring hits. Idea eight is to create your own homemade crayons. Most families have broken crayons laying around the house or at least a pack that has gone unused. So what I've done is I've taken a combination of a pack I had at home and some broken crayons and used a silicone mold we already had at home to create some alphabets of my children's names. And so I wrote out my son Dayton's name here. If you don't have silicone molds at home, which most families won't, you can make your own shapes using muffin tins, melting the wax in the oven. Keep your oven set to 200 after you've removed the paper from your crayons and melt away to create your own tie-dye crayons. Idea number nine is to create a growing experiment for your children to have in their basket for a future project. My children love growing things in the yard and like keeping seeds sometimes from fruits and vegetables that they've eaten here in the house and they keep them in a little baggie for when they can plant them outside. So if you don't have access to purchasing some seeds or you don't have any at home, think about the fruits and veggies that you already eat in your own kitchen. I happen to have my children's favorite thing to grow, which is sunflowers. So I have a pack of those and some corrugated cardboard, which was from some shipping containers that you can use for access to be able to plant your seeds to watch them grow. Think about your recycling bin, what types of containers are there and available for you to grow in to start your projects inside until you're able to take them out to the warmer weather. Idea 10 is to be able to use refillable drink cups. I always like to replenish these throughout the year and encourage my kids not to use containers that they have to throw away when they wanna have just a drink of water. And so I like to be able to offer refillable drink cups. So adding a new one to their basket is a great idea. I was actually able to monogram my children's names on here in a Harry Potter font because they really like that font. If you don't have these, you can give your children some stickers or some things that they can decorate their own cups with. I love being able to come up with ideas and think more frugally on top of the fact of not being able to have to go and buy things that are made of plastic that are just going to end up in the landfill. Being able to reuse plastics that you can find around the home for another purpose to give them a better life is a way more better option than hitting your discount stores or dollar stores to be able to fill your kids Easter basket. So I think that all of these ideas are really great to be able to achieve that goal. Let me know in the comment section which of these projects was your favorite. Was it the tic-tac-toe boards? the monogram pencil cases or pillowcases, the recycled bottle bug house, planting project, refillable water bottles, Easter egg pinatas, recycled crayon upcycle, Easter match game, bunny out of the toilet paper hole, or bubbles. I can't choose, but I really do like the bunny out of the hole, as even though I'm a grown adult, I think that'd be pretty fun to play with. I hope this video inspires you to create some of your own eco Easter basket ideas. 
Stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I'm going to be transforming a pair of apple baskets into a really cute Easter basket idea. If you like these projects, make sure to smash that like button. And if you're not already part of our YouTube family, hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your support. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.